Good day. So for this episode, I'm going to be building this crystal oscillator factory and it is going to produce 57 crystal oscillators per minute. It's quite a big project. Uh, 57 crystal oscillators is towards the goal of 100 turbo motors per minute. However, it's not all the crystal oscillators we need because I planned this out just before they updated the recipes. Uh, the recipe for radio control units. However, I'm standing here on the power plant and I'm just making a quick intro uh, before the sun goes down. Um, this start of the factory has been here for a while. There's 20 refineries there and a few smelters. This factory will have 22 refineries, 176 constructors, 91 smelters, 10 assemblers, and 57 manufacturers. So let's get into it. All right, so while we wait for the uh, sun to come up here and the moon to go down, we will have a quick look at the uh, satisfactory calculator map, and I'll show you what resources I've brought into this factory already uh, and where I got them from uh, before we get started with this build. Alright, so here I have loaded the save file into the satisfactory calculator map. Now I've said this many times in the past but this website is amazing and the people that maintain this are amazing as well. This is fa such a fantastic um, resource to use for playing satisfactory. Anyway, um, here is the mega base, the start of the mega base in the grasslands at the moment. I'll just zoom out a bit here. Uh, you can see the train lines, um, how neat we're making them, how neat everything is to be honest. Um, and everything is 90 degrees, everything's nice and square to the map, apart from a few times where we um, purposely put the train lines on the roads. I will. I even have the OCD of putting our miners north, south, east, west. These ones here, I reckon Fry might have put them in. See how they're slightly angled? I'm going to come in and fix that. But anyway, I digress. Um, since we haven't, since I haven't actually showed the map in the in the sa the save file in the map, I'll just point out a few things. So there's the main train station into the mega base. There is the basics. That's where we're making our basics to replenish the automatic sorter. This little guy just here is the weapons factory, and this train station picks up sulfur and receives rubber. Cool. All right, we'll just move over here a little bit. Here is the copper factory, which I built in the last episode, and that's producing 4,500 copper per minute going into the main base. Here's the pure Caterium factory, which Fry built, and I'll do a tour through that once we've um, polished, up, polished it up a bit. So let's move up. Let this load in. Um, I won't go through the rest just yet. Anyway, here's the power station and here is the uh, Crystal Oscillator factory in Crystal Corner. That's what this train station is called. In fact, it even says it when you hover the mouse over there. Alright, so the nodes I've brought in just here, they are three pure iron nodes and one pure copper node and the train brings in two pure copper nodes <laughs> from quite a way away but it is what it is and it works so if I can drag the map up if it lets me load it in here we have the motor factory and up here we have our coal factory here not coal factory coal power plant I'll zoom in just a little bit actually. I have our coal power plant and uh, here is the one that I made that is quite um, simple and efficient and this one here well got a little bit out of hand not out of hand but carried away and made it a little bit uh, 
Fancy. But anyway, here are the copper nodes. Uh, let me just... not copper. Quartz. Let's click the pure. They're kind of um, transparent because I've actually got miners on them. But this is where we get the two 780 lines of quartz. They come down this line, down here, down here on this belt bus. <laughs> all the way down here, all the way along here, through the motor factory, into this train station, into the train network, and uh, all the way down to Crystal Corner. And that is where we've got the quartz from. Um, so let's go back to the factory. All right, and now it is daytime. So those nodes I just talked about, they're nice and neatly brought down from that little area over here, down to here, ready to go. Uh, here's the quartz, and the third train station here that's not being used uh, is to obviously take the 57 crystal oscillators per minute to the mega base to join up with the rest of the crystal oscillators. So it started off with the recipe we needed 57 per minute. The recipe changed for radio control units we now need 101 per minute. So I'm still going to build this factory the way I planned it because of the resources I brought in are perfect for it. So that's on this standard recipe because we don't have to use oil. Um, that's what we're doing, 57. And then the remaining we're going to make somewhere else in the world. I haven't planned it yet, but we'll probably use this alternate recipe. What have I done so far? I actually did this quite a while ago. Um, just got started. We've laid 20 refineries out and they are making the crystal quartz or the quartz crystal. We need 1026 per minute. We're making over that. And then we have the smelters. Smelting we need, uh, what do we need here? I've written it down. We need 810 copper ingots per minute. We can turn this 780 line into 810 per minute by using smelters and then I've just got two refineries down there that are going to do the rest to make up the numbers on pure copper and that's all I've done so far I haven't even planned out um, how big this factory is going to be what I'm going to do with it I know there's a hell of a lot of buildings that need to go into it um, all I've really done is put this to make sure that uh, the refineries fit in. So come back once I've done a bit more work. Okay, so I've started planning out the next part of the factory, which is going to be, I need to make 800 cable. So what do I need for 800 cable? I need double that in wire. Because if we look at the wire recipe, 30 wire, uh, cable, it takes 60 wire to make 30 cable. So, here's what I've got laid out here, and it's quickly becoming apparent how big this factory is potentially going to be. I need two rows of 27 constructors, so there's going to be a row down the bottom here and another row on top, which I'm just preparing right now. So that's 54 constructors making wire. Now then, I need half that amount, which is 27, to make uh, the cable. So I've come up with a little bit of a different thing. This is different to what I've I've generally done in the past. I generally have a massive long merging system and then feed that into the next one. But what I'm going to do here is because I've got two rows of 27 making wire and then I'm going to have one row of 27 making the cable because it's exactly two to one. Two constructors. Two constructors making wire will feed one constructor making cable. So what I'm going to do here is lay out what I've done here is a little prototype. Uh, I'm going to come out of the top constructor into a merger and then smack it into the uh, the one constructor here making the cable. So yep, 54 constructors here making wire and then another 27 constructors here making the cable. Now I don't want to, I'm, I'm still planning how this factory is going to get built, I don't want to go too far out here and, and I definitely don't want to go any closer out this way to the power station. Um, so once I lay this uh, cable section out, because we've got the smelters doing the copper ingots, then all the constructors, we still have a hell of a lot of iron things to do. 
So what I'll come up with is, is something where we probably just start going up from here. And I haven't even planned out where the 57 manufacturers are going to go. So anyway, we'll come back when I've done a bit more of this. Okay, so I have laid out the constructors to make the wire. I have 54 constructors here. I've connected them to power. I have put the splitters in and connected the belts. So let's do the wire ones. I mean the cable ones. Alright, so I've laid out 54 constructors making wire and 27 constructors making cable. I need to make 800 cable. We're making 810, which is fine because it's better to make slightly more than slightly under. And 800 is what we need, and it's an awkward number to work with because we can only get 780 on one belt. So I've split it down the middle. And what we've ended up with is two 400 belts, 200, uh, two 400 belts of cable. And that should be it. I just need to set the recipe here and power it all up. Uh, none of this I've fed yet. They're still waiting there, but that's fine. Uh, this is where I'm at with the copper. That, that's pretty much the copper done. Wow, look at those frames drop. It's because I've got the computer factory and the motor factory all in the same frame at the moment. Actually, that's crazy the amount of frame drops right now. Probably because I'm recording as well, it doesn't help. Um, so yeah, that's the copper. The copper comes in here, feeds it into all these smelters and then the refineries. So it's 780 copper, a pure node. We get 810 copper ingots. We split it between these 54 constructors here making wire and then they go into these 27 constructors making wire and then like I said we have the two 400 lines of cable. I'm hoping now not to go any bigger with the factory floor. I'm going to try and make it so that uh, hmm we'll see how I go. Like everything it's an evolving design but I'm going to hopefully just go up from here Anyway, I'll come back later when I've started doing some more stuff. Alright, I've just made one of the silliest mistakes ever. Um, I've walling this place up and things, making it neater. And I thought, hey, let's plug the, um, you know, let's, let's plug the copper in and just get it going since it's all ready to go. Let's just start doing that. So what I did was I smacked it in here. And uh, silly me, that's actually the merger line. Anyway, what happened was... <laughs> Oh, it was in there for about 30 seconds on 780. All the copper ore went into every single machine, every single constructor now has some of this in there. So instead of trying to manually get it all off each belt, because you can't, you have to delete it, put it back in, I'm just going to reload the save. Oh my god, that was silly. Now, now, this will, I've been using, I'm using the overflow, so this will take a while to uh, get up and running, but it'll be trickling away whilst uh, I'm building the rest of the factory. So, 
What else have I done? I've done a bit of walling up. Made a king at Nita. I mean, it is a shame to not show off all the machines, but until I upgrade the computer, sort out the FPS, I think the best thing to do is just wall up the area. Um, I'm going to try to keep it a little bit open if I can, but it all depends on, like I say, FPS issues. Righto, so this little border here that I've got, this little shell, this is going to be the, uh, the rough design of what I'm going to do. I've uh, got the copper running for the meantime, letting that system back up. So it's time to slap in another floor and plan the next floor. Alright, right, right, so I've belted them all up. Well, I've belted in the splitters, the inputs. And I think what I'm going to do is, before I put the mergers in, I'm going to start feeding this with the iron ore. That way I can buffer the machines and avoid making a mistake of putting it in the merger side like I did last time. Let's do that right now. Nice, and away they go. Okay, so I have laid out 45 constructors making the iron plates, and I'm making 900 iron plates per minute, two rows of 450 iron plates per minute. Uh, it's effectively 45 constructors because I've got two rows of 22 and the end one has a shard in it so yeah two belts of 450 equaling 900 iron plates per minute the only reason I use shards generally is to save space or if I've got a production line that I want to make even uh, like this one is 45 so it's just two rows of 22 with some shards right so next thing I'm gonna do is use the remaining iron ingots over here and make 50 constructors doing 2,500 screws per minute. Alright, so I've just laid out 50 constructors making 2,500 screws per minute. Here they are, nice and simple. Two rows of 25 and put them on these extra little mid-tier floor so it all fits on this one floor. Uh, I don't know if I'll bother using this room here, a little bit of extra space didn't hurt anyone. Probably just go up to the next floor and build the assemblers. And then the only thing left after that is the 57 uh, manufacturers. Uh, yep, and we use this alternate recipe here, the cast screw, which is pretty awesome because you don't have to use rods, you go straight from the ingot to the screw. And that is that. Let's go to the next floor. I right, just quickly forgot to put the uh, mergers in at the end and load balance all that stuff. So 2,500 screws divided by four is 625. So four rows of 625 screws prepped to go to the next level. And there's our 900 sheets or 900 iron plates. And they're gonna go with the screws on the next floor into the assemblers to make the reinforced iron plates and that is the last thing we need we've got the reinforced iron plates the cable and the quartz crystal and then it's manufacturer time okay I've slapped another floor on and slapped down 10 assemblers here all I need to do is bring in these 900 iron plates and the 2500 screws smash them in these machines and get uh, 142.5 reinforced iron plates per minute and then it's manufacturer time so I'll just belt this all up now alright I've belted it up uh, some nice simple load balancing so I have 2500 screws here um, I had to split it four ways to be able to get it on the belts 
So I've got splitters down here and a merger in the middle for the screws in each production line. And then the iron plates are pretty simple. I just went one 450 line into each side. And uh, it's all running pretty smoothly. I just turn it on just then. It's already green. It's a nice, simple little small system. And there's the uh, final, uh, the finished product just here. 142.5 reinforced iron plates per minute. And now it is time to put down 57 manufacturers to make the crystal oscillators. So I'll come back when I've come up with some sort of plan for that. All right, well, I've started planning out some manufacturers. I need to get 57. So I need to get 57 crystal oscillators per minute and they make one per minute each. So 57. But because it's an uneven number, what I'm going to do is make 56 and put two shards in, in a couple to effectively have 57. So it's worked out pretty good. I've just laid it out. Um, I usually use the the white line here so so I can put a splitter oh, look about no plates but if I put the splitters down the middle of this um, I can stack them up on top of each other and have a nice manifold style bus line so that's what I did um, there's enough room in there for a merger for the outputs have the goods coming down here this is actually 28 manufacturers right so uh, 28 times 2 is 56 uh, so I just need to double this like I'm going to put a little um, platform on top of this replicate it and it also works out quite well that I'm splitting it in two two sets of 28 because where's my materials I'll probably have to reroute these actually I will reroute here I have this is my cable in two lines so that's two lines of 400 cable so that'll be one one of these lines of cable goes into this floor and the next one goes into the next floor and I have um, 1026 quartz crystal and that's split between two lines there so one of these lines will go on this floor and the other line will go on the next floor uh, as far as the reinforced iron plates go or oh, motor factories over there so it lags a bit so we're using the original crystal recipe uh, crystal oscillator recipe these are the three things that it needs. Cable, reinforced iron plate, and quartz crystal. Um, it'll be one line of 142 per minute, split between the whole lot. And I'll probably just run the one line as an overflow line, and it will just take a little bit to go through. So I'll probably just run this one first as I'm building it and give it time to, um, to go. So I'm gonna have to add another floor do a lot of belt, belt work and power lines and things, but uh, this is it. This is basic, basic, simple design. And just replicate this again. Probably paint them pink too, because the item they're making is pink. All right, so I'll come back when I've done a lot more work on this. Okay, I've started belting it up, and this is how I've, this is how I'm doing it. This is my style of uh, style I've chosen to belt it up with. Just these like manifold manifold style with overflow. You can see the reinforced iron plate's going to go in. Uh, you're going to see all my frames dropping. <laughs> uh, I've actually got my new computer. I, I'll be hooking it up soon, but I can't be bothered doing it right, right now. I'll finish this episode on my old computer and then I'll start using my new computer. Anyway, this is, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I've, I've got these uh, two rows hooked up and um, and away we go, we're making crystal oscillators already. There go a couple there. All right, it is finished. It's finally done. 57 crystal oscillators per minute, 57 manufacturers. Well, to be completely exact, 56 manufacturers with two of them have a shard in. This is the top floor. This is the final floor, I'm leaving it open. I can hear my computer fan starting to whiz up because everything's running. I'm allowing the system to back up at the moment. Uh, but this is how I've fed it. The bottom is almost identical. I've given them a spray of pink because that's what we're doing here. I've covered up the top floor. I'm trying to keep it simple, clean. 
not too fancy a little bit of a edge there and it's even on both sides of the factory and that's about as fancy as I got but we're making 57 crystal oscillators per minute here and look at those frames disappear all right so let's just go down this whole factory please give me some hover pack here thank you train lines okay so our quartz comes in by train our iron and copper comes in by belt and then the crystal oscillators 57 per minute will leave via this third train station and I'm getting some really bad frames right now what I'm going to do is actually I, I did turn the fog off maybe that's why so this is a nice simple train station there's the factory I'm about to finish this video off and then That'll be the last video on this computer. It's a i7 with a 2080. I've upgraded to an i9 with a 3080, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, hopefully we fix some frame issues, but I'm just gonna real quickly, we can see everything running now. It's not fully backed up yet. I'm just gonna quickly uh, Go take a look at this little factory from over here. All right, here I am up at the power station, floating above the power station. Now the power station actually doesn't really drop any frames. I'm pretty sure because it's not really producing and calculating any items. It's just making power. Power station pretty good. But anyway, here is the crystal oscillator factory. It does make me lose a few frames, but it's nice and compact. Nice little train station next to it. Next video I'm going to do is the automatic sort, sorting and storage system. And I'm going to be doing that on my brand new computer. So hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And catch you later.